Good morning, River Landing. Here we are. Let me make sure I'm on. Yep. <laughs> Good morning, River Landing. Um, welcome to Chair Yoga. Glad to have you here. Let's go ahead and get started with uh, a nice posture. Posture is so important. So let's look at our feet. Feet are forward, toes are forward, and knees and ankles are aligned with each other. And then we're sitting tall with our hips, shoulders, and ears are all in line. Good. Let's pause just for a moment and breathe. Closing our eyes, taking that inventory of the body. Good. Take that inventory of your body and see what hurts and, and what doesn't. And maybe, maybe some of it you can't tell it hurts right now until we start to move it. But target that area that you know. For me, for example, my knees have been a little crabby lately. So I'm going to breathe. And I'm going to send positive vibes and energy into my knees with my breath. Let's open up those eyes. Take a big deep breath. Inhale, lift those arms up. Good. We're going to grab one wrist. Bring your shoulders down. I do it too. I tend to lift those shoulders up too high. So lift it here. Come on over to the side, keeping your seats even in the chair. So don't lift the buttocks off the chair. Good. Then bring those arms back up. Let's do the other side. We lift. And it's just a small movement here because we're still a little cool. Good, and bring it all the way down. Now let's take those arms, extend them back, reach your chest forward like you're the mast head on that ship. Grab the back of that chair, lean forward, and tuck your chin. Uh-oh. So guess what? I realized the microphone wasn't on. Sorry about that. Hopefully you followed along. Good. So welcome to chair yoga. Let's inhale, lift those arms up. Don't worry, I didn't say anything more than just welcome to chair yoga. So we're good. And then a hug. Woo! A little feedback. Good. Let's crunch it forward. Inhale and lift. Open it up. And hug again. Other arm is over. Let's rock. Oh, that feels good. Kind of waking up that spine. And then let's come forward. Let's reach those arms out. Grab your elbows right here. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. I feel like I dream of genie, right? We're going to make a wish. So sitting up nice and tall, we're going to take those arms to one side. Then we're going to turn our head in the opposite direction. And bring it back to the center, other side. And bring it back to the center. Now take those arms, bring them all the way down like you're mad at me for some reason. We're going to bring one ear over to the side. Just hold it here and breathe. Relax your shoulders, let go of the tension. So easy to hold tension in your shoulders and your hips. Let's lift that head up. Let's do the other side. One more breath. Good. Bring that head up. Now bring those arms back up again. Still holding in that I dream of genie. This time we're going to do the same way. So I'm going to turn my head and my arms the same way. I'm still tugging those arms a little bit in that direction, trying to get a big stretch in the shoulder. And bring it back to the center. Let's do that other side with a twist. And bring it back to the center. Now, shoulders down. Let's make a circle. So some of us, our shoulders don't like a big circle. So we're going to do small. Some of us can do a big circle. Big circle. Okay. Ooh, really get into the spine. And then reverse it. Do the other way. Big circles. Sorry. Good job. All 
All right, now bring those arms right back. Fold those elbows, sit up nice and tall, and look down towards your lap. Shoulders stay lifted. Shoulders stay down, not shoulders stay lifted, sorry. Shoulders are down, not lifted. There we go. And then let's lift that head up. Let those arms come down. Give them a shake and a wake off. Good. All right. Let's get a little bit deeper into that shoulder and that upper part of your back. So we're going to come forward here. We're going to anchor on this right side and let the left arm hang. And if you had your weights close by, because I know a lot of you have a little area where you're um, doing your workouts, if you have a two or three pound weight, you can just let that weight in your hand and let it hang there. And what that kind of does is it, it kind of resets that shoulder into a good position. So we're just going to let it hang, maybe let it circle a little bit, just let the, the momentum of your arm, let it circle a little. Good. All right, now let's take that arm nice and long. We're going to extend it forward, extend it forward, and I want you to extend it so far that you feel it all the way in your backside. So when I reach it forward, I'm going to feel the tug all the way into my hip. Good. Feel that stretch. Now keep looking that way. Let's take that arm and we're going to reach it back behind. For some of us, this is a no-go, right? It doesn't feel good to do this. So do what feels good. Maybe it's this, a cactus pose with the elbow bent. Now let's reach it forward again, and we're going to take this arm, we're going to reach it straight, and we're going to make a circle watching the leg, right? We're going to watch that leg, watch any arms in your chairs. If you're in the tight quarters, maybe you're going to um, watch hitting anything on the sides. Good. And then try to keep it nice and long, circle the other way. Good. All right, now reach it forward and let it fall, just like we started. Let it fall, let it hang. If you have that weight still in your hand, that's perfectly fine. You could use, you could have, if it was a light weight, you could have used it for that whole series of exercise. All right, and then let's go to that other side. So we're gonna let that arm hang. Oh, that feels good. On this side, good. Let that hang if you want to transfer that weight to that side, you can. Maybe let the, the motion of the arm just release those muscles, just kind of let it hang. And it maybe moves a little bit. Good. And then take that arm and reach it, stretch it out, pushing your hip back. So you should feel this all the way into that hip. Good. Feel that great stretch into the hip. Keep pushing the hip away a little bit if you don't feel it. That's going to get that hip, the hip a little bit more involved. Good. Now let's take that arm, reach back, but stay looking forward. Bend the elbow if you need to. That gives you a break. Gives that arm and shoulder a break. And then let's reach it out and make that circle. Big circle. Trying to keep that arm nice and strong and long. Adjust your position if you need to. Don't hit anything. And reverse your circle. Good. Now let's reach it one more time. Reach it. Push yourself back in that chair. Feel that stretch. Good. And then let's let that arm hang. Kind of going right back to where we started. Exhale, cactus pose, come forward. Good. Lift it up one more time. Cactus pose, we're going to come down and we're going to lay ourselves on our legs and let ourselves hang. Now, if you've had um, surgery recently in your eyes or if you get dizzy easily, you want to keep the head lifted. For those that haven't had that, we're going to let it hang. 
Feeling that stretch into the lower back. Breathe. Good. Mm. Now push through your feet. Inhale, come all the way up. Cactus pose. Good. Nice, strong cactus pose. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades a little bit. And bring it in. Now reach it again. Cactus pose with a lean forward. Good. Reach it up. Cactus pose. Come all the way forward, letting the arms come down and hang and letting yourself curl. Feeling that stretch there. It feels so good, doesn't it? Keep your head lifted if you have had surgeries or you get just as easily. And breathe. Good. Now, I want you to, let's just stay here for a moment. So I want you to think about breathing into the lungs and pushing into your legs. So breathe and push your lungs into your legs and feel how you're stretching on the inside. Isn't that awesome? Good. So one more time. Breath. Stretching on the inside. I can feel it in the belly. Yeah. Good. One more time. Push those lungs into those legs. You almost have to expand your belly a little too. And then bring it back. Good. And inhale and lift. Good. And why, why would we want to do something like that? Well, let's do a little arm stretch while we're doing that. I'll tell you why. So stretch it out. So when we do the expansion into the belly like that, we actually are making little room for things. Good. So let's bring it around. So if we have some intestinal issues, we have some stomach issues, we are actually helping some of those things that might be stuck or clogged move along if you get my drift. So those kind of um, expansions like that are actually helping intestinal movement as well. It's kind of cool. All right, and then let's do that other arm, stretch it out. Good, and then let's go here. So another thing we could do, I'll show you um, just in a second, to help with that same type of thing that helps things keep flowing is, is um, bringing our knees into our chest. So we'll do that here in the chair. So let's scoot forward, do small little scoot, and we're gonna bring this up. So when we bring our leg up, there's three things that happen. One, we stretch our back. So you can feel that right into the back, you're stretching your back. Two, we've had to pull that leg up, so we're using the abdominal muscles to do that. And three, we're actually pushing a little bit on those intestines and making things move around. So pretty cool. Okay, so let's, while we're here, let's point and flex our foot. Good. Who knew yoga was so good for all those kinds of things, right? And then roll. Roll. Good. And roll the other way. Good. While we're here, let's take that leg and we're going to hold on the outside the outside hand hold on the inside with the inside hand. We're going to take that knee, even if we're way down here, and we're going to pull that knee up to the side. So if we were here, it might be here. If it be down low, it might be here. Or that arm up towards the armpit. Good. Getting a stretch into that hip just a little deeper. If you did strength and stretch with me today, we used a lot of legs. So I can really feel that in that hip right now. So this feels really good. All right, now let's bring it back to the center. Let's cross it over if we can. Otherwise, we're going to cross at the ankle. And we're going to sit up nice and tall. Good. All right. Good. Sitting up tall, let's lean forward. Feel the stretch in that sciatic nerve area, that hip area, the piriformis. Good. IT band, all kind of words for that same basic area. Good. Now sit up nice and tall. Let's turn towards that leg. We're sitting tall, leaning forward, hinging at the hip. Push the chest forward like you're going to try to lay your chest on your knee. And if you can, God bless you. This is all I got today. Good. Push that chest a little forward. Breathe. chair again. And remember how we pick that leg up and we pull it towards the opposite side? This time I want you to pick it up and just pull it in like you're going to hold it like a baby. And we're going to even maybe rock it a little bit. So maybe you're rocking way down here. That's okay. If you can't get it up here, here's what you're doing. You're opening and closing, working into that hip. It's a lots of options there for those of you that aren't as flexible or have had hip or knee surgeries that just can't anymore. That happens, right? 
have to do the best we can. We just can't stop moving. Movement is so important. Even when we have arthritis, movement is important. So let's take the leg we were just working with. I want you to extend it out. Opposite arm goes up. Keep that chin tucked down. Feel that big stretch. Imagine I'm there and I'm pulling that leg away, pulling your arm away, trying to elongate through this part of your spine and this part of your upper body. Good. All right. Let's bring that leg up one last time for a hug. Push the chest forward. Maybe that feels a little bit looser if that was one of your hot points for when you were doing your initial body check this morning. All right, let's go to that other side. So we lift that leg up, we hug it in. Remember, just because my knee is here, good for me, you do what works for you. And we lift that knee up, we push the chest a little bit forward, feeling that stretch through the hip. Good, working on um, massaging the intestines right here. Good, now let's bring it down. We're gonna take the outside hand to the outside of the knee and the inside hand over the ankle and we're going to pick it up and push it towards the armpit. Now if you can't get that, we could be here, you could be just open here. Lots of options for those of you that don't have that same flexibility, right? Because we all are different. Thank God, right? If we were all the same, imagine how boring that would be, right? Oh, for the first little bit, it'd probably be fun that we all had the same opinions and stuff, but after that, I think it would get annoying. All right, then we're gonna cross either at the top of the leg or the ankle, and we're gonna sit ourselves up. Good, nice tall posture, we're gonna lean forward. Lean forward. Uh, feel that nice stretch there. Good, now come up nice and tall, and we're gonna to turn towards that bent leg, and this time we're gonna go forward over that bent leg. Feeling that stretch in the hip. Let's bring it back up. Now we're going to go back again on that chair, lifting that leg again. And this time we're going to rock it a little bit side to side, like we're rocking a baby. <laughs> no babies in my future that I know of. You never know, right? Let's take that leg one more time, hug it in. Good. Now stretch it out, stretch it out, big long stretch, opposite arm goes up, imagine I'm there tugging that leg, tugging that arm, elongating through your spine. Holding and breathing. Let's add the other arm and the other leg, no tipping off the chair, big stretch. Let's swing those arms down, either hitting the arms of the chair or holding them, and then uh, pushing up however we can. So we're up in that seated position. Good. All right, then that feel good to stretch through those hips just that little bit. So let's get into the hamstring a little. So um, we're gonna stay seated in the chair the whole time today. So we're gonna put that one heel out. We're sitting up nice and tall, kind of sitting in a little side saddle. And so the heel is out, and let's, come and split the middle. So we're going to come to the middle and reach forward. Good. Relaxing through that hamstring, relaxing through that inner thigh. It's a big stretch there. Good. Oh, let's hold it just for a second. Let's lean forward one more time. Reach. Feel that nice stretch. Now let's come up, and we need to be really careful about this. So I want you to make sure that your torso is forward, almost so that it's in line with that front knee. You're gonna grab the chair, we're just gonna do a little lean over. If it starts to hurt a hip at all, I want you to stop. Good. One more breath. Now come up, now let's lean forward one more time. See if it feels a little looser. Mine does. 
anchor, so we can really lean into it this time if you can. Can you pull wow, the toe up a little bit? Yeah. Good. And then let's bring that up and bring those legs in. Good, let's take a pause and just rock some things around. And I can hear it. You're wearing a hole in the pants. Okay. All right, let's do that other side. So we anchor here, foot goes out here, and we start just getting that baseline stretch. So we stretch it forward, feel how it feels. And I'm going to anchor on that leg. I want to have a I want to have a way to hold, so I don't want to be up in space. That's going to feel a little bad, I think. So holding it here, breathing. Good. All right, now come all the way up. We're going to do that little twist thing. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that little twist thing, but and I, I want you to Face that leg that's the anchor. And we're just going to slide down a little bit. And why we're doing this is because we're trying to loosen up just a little bit in the hip so that when we go forward into the hamstring stretch, we can go a little deeper. Okay, so we're trying to loosen up the chamois cloth, if you've ever heard my chamois cloth analogy. And if you haven't, I'll tell you again another day. So reach it out, stretch it. Oh, wow. Just that little bit. I can feel a huge difference. Hold it here and breathe. Can you pull that toe up a little bit more so you're really getting that hamstring stretch? Breathe. All right, and then let's come all the way up. Let's take those legs back to the center. Let's do that rock. <sighs> Now bring it right to the center, plant those feet, and we're going to do a barrel roll. <laughs> so I want you to imagine you got inside a barrel, and you're going to roll around the edges of the barrel to clean it. So we're going to clean with the front of the body, and then clean with the back. Good. Clean with the front, clean with the back. What is that? What's happening with your body? So the body is tilting through the pelvis. So the pelvis tilts back. The pelvis tilts forward. Good. And so we go concave and we go open in the in the chest. Good. So we're really just working that whole thoracic spine there and the lumbar spine. Let's reverse and go the other way. So we, we hit in the front, we hit in the back. So I want you to push through the chest, push through the back. Push through the chest, push through the back. Good. Feeling that nice stretch, doesn't that feel good all the way through that spine? One more right here. Good. I'm so sorry. All those thunderstorms every night. Boy, I don't know about you, but they keep me up. All right. So sitting up nice and tall, we're going to hold to one side, and I want you to lean. Now you can hold the arm of the chair or the base of the chair, and I want you to lean, even letting your um, shoulder or your ear come towards your shoulder. Feel that nice stretch there. We could even add a little counter pressure right here. Good. But we don't have to do that. If that's too much, just don't do it. Good. Now tuck your chin towards your chest. So it's a diagonal movement. My ear was still towards the shoulder, just bringing that chin towards the chest ever so slightly. Breathing, relaxing through that shoulder. Ear comes over and come all the way up. Let's hold on the other side. So we need to hold the arm of the chair or the base. You decide. Let the ear come over and I, I want you to feel the tug. So we're stretching through the hip as well as the shoulder, just a little bit. We can add that gentle counter pressure if you'd like. And then let's tuck that chin. Feeling that nice stretch through the neck, relaxing the shoulder, breathing. Now 
Let that hand go. Let's bring that ear over and all the way up. Let's roll those shoulders. See how they feel. Good. Hopefully they feel good. All right. So we got all the way from the top to the bottom except for the feet. So let's go ahead and get there. So let's rock. One toe, one heel. One toe, one heel. Working easily, working those ankles. Flexibility in the ankle is something we lose as we get older, and it's really important to maintain it. It's kind of like balance and patience. The more we use those things, the more we have them. The flexibility is the same. The more we flex through the ankle, doing this type of movement, the better it is. Good. So putting those feet on the floor, I want you to roll the ankles out, but hold on to your knees. Don't let your knees go like this, okay? Keep your knees right in the center, rolling those ankles out to the edge. You're on the edge of your shoe. How do you remember your parents telling you, don't do that, right? You're going to wreck your shoes. Do you know how much money I spent? Okay. You get it. All right, so, but in this case, we're not doing it very often. We're not doing it very long, so it's okay. So let's roll it again. This is actually benefiting us, so that's a good thing. And push it down. Let's do it one more time. Keep those knees where they are. Don't let them open. And that's why the knee locks are on. We're locking the knee. Don't let it roll. Good. And put those feet down on the floor. Let's roll it back. So I want you to bring your feet up and point your toes. Imagine that underneath your feet are some towels, and we're going to clean the floor. Good. So just side to side with that toe pointed. Working the flexibility of that ankle. Okay. Are you sitting tall in your chair? No slouching. All right, now take those feet. We're going to put them up. And I want you to turn them towards each other. And then turn them away. Good. Turn them towards each other. And turn them away. Turn them towards each other. And away one more time. Turn them towards each other. And away, good. Ah, now let's just do a regular roll. Roll those ankles. Good, and roll the other way. All right, now point and flex. All right, and plant those feet. Good. Sit up nice and tall in your chair. Make sure that you're sitting tall. Then lean back just that little bit. Let's just look down towards our lap. Bring those shoulders so that they're tucked in the back pocket just a little bit. And just a little lean here. Let's breathe into the back of your neck, stretching those shoulders one last time. Let's bring that head up. Good. Let's do a simple neck stretch. Simplest neck stretch we have is just shaking the head. No. No. No, we really don't want any more rain, right? Oh, but I know something we'll all say yes to. Yes, we would like a little extra dessert. That sounds good. And last nod right here. Let's bring the head up, rest and relax into the chair. Let's take a couple of breaths here, relaxing for this last minute. Breathing. This would be a great time to turn that television off or turn the sound down and just do your meditation for five to ten minutes. Very good for your blood pressure and all kinds of things. Relaxing. 
Slowly bring your focus back into the room, holding on to that calm feeling. Just holding on to the pleasantness of being quiet. Let's open up those eyes. Take a big deep breath. Inhale. Bringing those hands to prayer. Bringing those hands to your heart. Your head to your hands. Combining grace, compassion, and wisdom through your wonderful gift from God. Let's use them all together, right? What a wonderful world it would be. Thank you so much for sharing me, sharing your yoga with me today. And I hope that you feel stretched and energized and ready for whatever you decide to do today. Namaste.